The name of this exercise is ankles and toes. It's one of the first things I give to most people and it really tests the balance of flexion and extension in your body. You get to see how open the feet are, how well the feet work. There are 26 bones in the feet and there are 33 different articulations with those bones. We want to get the feet to be as mobile as possible. So in this first version, you're going to have the heels together and try to get the heels together as close as possible and get them inside of the sit bones to sit back down. You could belt your ankles together as a great way to do it and that really keeps the heels together. Ideally, if the heels are on the inside of the sit bones, it creates a lot of space and opening in the pelvic floor. Spread the toes open, trying to get all 10 toes to the floor. If this feels good to be sitting upright, you can lean backwards, just changes the stretch a little bit. You can bring your hands onto the floor and even lift the shins up, balancing on the tops of the feet. It's a very deep stretch. Eventually even, maybe, taking the hands off the floor and balancing on the tops of the feet. Over time, these things should get easy. The second stage is to come up, tuck your toes under, <clears throat> sit on the heels. Here you want to get the entire ball of the foot to the floor. Toes tucked under, heels as close together as possible, though they'll be a little bit of a part, and sit up right on top of the heels. Right. Toes tucked, toes pointed, heels together. Ideally, everything is easy. Over time, as you do this exercise more and more, you'll find that you'll be able to tuck the toes all the way under, sit on the heels, and point the feet completely straight. It's really worth the effort.